Hey everybody, it's Jason Falls. I'm actually getting ready to uh, go on a podcast and be interviewed for uh, my new book. And I was sitting here sort of making some notes and I thought, hey, this is probably a pretty good idea to share with everyone. Um, if you are going to be a guest on a podcast, and I've got a really good blog post that I'll link to in the notes here about being a good guest on a podcast, it's always great to take a few minutes before you go on the show and really prepare to be a good guest on the podcast from a content perspective. So I'm getting ready to go on the Accidental Creative Podcast with Todd Henry. It happens to be one that I've listened to for years, love Todd and love uh, the perspective because it gives me a little creative inspiration and tips and tricks and whatnot. Um, and so I've sat here with my notepad and I've jotted down, okay, the Accidental Creative. These are folks who are more on the ad creative side of thing, the copywriters, the art directors. There's a variety of people in his audience, but I'm talking to people who focus on creativity. And I'm being invited on this show to talk about influence marketing, which is not necessarily something that an advertising creative would get their hands you know, dirty with. So I'm trying to think, okay, what questions is Todd probably gonna ask me? I certainly have talking points about the book, but again, my guest spot on the Accidental Creative is not about my book as much as it's about his audience and tr trying to provide something valuable for them. So I'm kind of putting myself in his shoes. What questions would I ask Jason? And then I'm trying to say, okay, well, what answers would I give or what advice could I give to a creative leaning audience about influencer marketing? Uh, that would help them. And so I've kind of jotted down some notes here on my little notepad, um, the creative use of influencers, right? So uh, we've got to get out of the, you know, we've got to get out of the mentality of using influencers is, you know, paying one influencer for one post and then you're done. You know, that sort of transactional thing is not creative. That's just, just one for one. There you go. Tit for tat. What we've got to be it, as we're thinking about developing creative concepts and strategies for brands is we've got to think of how can we creatively incorporate influencers like how can we think beyond just Instagrammers and YouTube and think creatively about people of influence, people who influence uh, the audience we're trying to reach, maybe offline, maybe within the community. So that's one way to lean into helping creatives think about influencers a little differently. I've also got down here the creative use of influencers in if you're able to partner with an influencer on kind of a big project like Buffalo Trace Bourbon did with uh, Derek Wolf at Over the Fire Cooking, which I talk about in the book, how can you also incorporate other influencers into the same project as like guests on the video show? So you're leveraging multiple influencers in creative ways as opposed to just doing one series of videos with one person. So that's another way to help creatives think about influencers in a creative way, in a little different way. Um, and then I've also kind of got this list of um, uh, how you would use influencers, because a lot of people think, well, influencers are uh, folks who we're going to pay to talk about our product or service on their channel. And that's certainly one way to use influencers. But you could also look at influencers, instead of looking at them as, as influencers, look at them as an extension of your creative team. They are content creators. They're really good at creating content. Uh, on these social channels, and maybe your team uh, e either isn't that great at it, or or maybe they are so overloaded with all these other projects that they need help with some of the social content. Why not engage influential people, content creators who know how to create TikTok videos and uh, Instagram stories and so on and so forth to partner with you to create that content? So think about supplementing your own creative output with influencers as if they were freelancers or content creators, um, bring their content into your content, right? So it's not just about them posting on their channels. It's also about leveraging their talent for your channels too. And so that again, gives those creative directors and those art directors and those copywriters a little something more to think about. I've also got, you know, partner with, with influencers early on in the, uh, the product launches and campaigns so that you're getting feedback from them as you develop these messages and these talking points for people. Your influencers can be kind of your focus group, your informal 
you know, partner focus group that kind of gives you feedback early on. Uh, and then that feedback R and D, I mean, uh, rely on your influence, in, influential people for giving you really good feedback on your product or your service or your campaigns so that you can continually get better. The more engaged they are, the more bought into helping you they are, the more you're going to get out of them because they're just naturally going to share your content. They're naturally going to talk about you and your brand when they're talking to other people. So again, all of this is my preparation work to be on someone else's podcast, not to focus on here's what I want you to do. I want you to go buy the book and the book is about this and influencer marketing and Winfluence and Jason Falls and me, me, me. My goal as a guest is to provide value to Todd's audience. And so I'm trying to put myself in the mindset of his audience and thinking, what would an influencer, marketing, strategist, expert, whatever, uh, what would they, what advice would they give to a creative audience about thinking about influencers or influence marketing in a different way? So 10, 15 minutes of prep work, jot down a few notes to make sure that when I go on someone else's podcast, I'm providing great value to their audience. Todd's going to talk about the book. He's going to mention the, the link. He's going to drop the link in the show notes. I don't have to promote Winfluence. I'm just being on the show. Uh, just being on the show promotes the book. But what's really important is I'm providing value to that person's audience. So think about that the next time you get to be on a podcast. Mm -hmm.